Chris Ann over at Plan Obsessed. And today, we're going to take a look in on the African night crawlers in the vermi bag little mammoth. Alright, I'm going to take out my fly trap here. And looks like I've got quite a bit in there. I'm not sure if that'll show up on the camera. But uh, I'm going to get the worms off the bottom here. Luckily it didn't spill. So today let's take a look and see what they are doing. Looks like the moisture is doing good. Got quite a bit of condensation on the top of the bin. Alright, so let's just do kind of like a health check first. That is one of the things that I like to do when I first get in the bin. I like to check the whole bin first. Uh, if you're new to the channel, um, I do like to uh, make sure that the bin is doing good before I feed it more food. Um, looks like we've got some kind of a little bit of a worm ball in that avocado shell. Um, looks like it could use a little bit more moisture this time. I added over a gallon a couple times ago and I was... It didn't leak on me. Um, but then again, uh, you know, it might have been a close call. I don't want to make the deep part of the bag uh, too wet. So it's been almost two weeks since I've looked in on them. I don't expect to find much of a worm ball. This is part of a corn cob. You know how it is. Life gets busy. That's how they're doing on that corn stalk. Doing a pretty good job, really. And uh, also, if you're new here, I do tend to, I don't know if I want to call it an experiment, but I do put all of my trimmings from my bonsais and my indoor plants in with the worm bin. Um, I think, you know, it's twofold. See how long it takes to, to get through them. And then also, uh, it also creates air, air pockets and whatnot that the worms do enjoy. Alright, got my avocados. Looks like one of my Florida avocados is about ready to sprout. I um, don't know if that's plastic or what, but we'll get rid of it. So, I put in a couple gallons of the bedding, usually every time that I feed. And I didn't do it last time. Um, and you can tell. Look how they're making all these castings they have gone through all of that bedding. I filled it almost to the top, so that takes about a five gallon bucket to do when it's this full. So I'm just going to go through there, pick out any of the big pieces that I want to make sure are in the feeding area. Before we get today's huge feeding, I kind of fed them a little bit light, um, at least for what I usually feed them, and this time we are going to get them a good amount of food. Also have a little bit of an experiment. Uh, I know we sometimes talk about food that will be fast food and slow food and sometimes depending upon the condition of the food it can be either one. So what I'm going to do today, first I'm going to kind of create a bit of a pocket here Make sure there's no, absolutely making sure there's no worm balls, just in case. I think in the avocado was the only one we're going to get. And then, so our first experiment is going to be the difference between carrots that have not been cooked. These just started going moldy in the refrigerator. And then looking at what cooked carrots will do that have been cooked. So these you can tell they're a little squishy. These are not. So we're going to kind of keep an eye on them and see what the difference is between cooked carrots and not cooked carrots. These will probably be in here for months and these, the ones that have been cooked, will probably be gone in a month or so. But that's not enough food for them right now. They have gone through every little bit of food and most of the bedding. So we are going to load them up. 
We've got some more of that. We've got kiwis. We've got a little pineapple, uh, half a banana, and then we've got a cabbage, which I did microwave a little bit just so that it wouldn't take forever. Now, if I was smart, I would have put this in the bottom. Let's, let's, let's go ahead and do that. I'm crazy, but I'm not stupid. Let's put that in the bottom. Put the cooked carrots on one side, or the not cooked, and then the cooked, and then the other stuff. And then the old food we'll put, you know, down the middle here. So give that some nice covering. These are Tivana tea bags. So in case you're wondering, do they ever break down? Yeah, but you're talking about years. Um, this has probably been in there for almost a year. I think it's some kind of silk or something. I don't know if it's synthetic or not. Anybody who works for Tivana, uh, let everybody know. Now I'm going to go grab them some bedding, some fresh bedding, because as you can see, there's really not a lot of bedding left here. And the African nightcrawlers love their bedding. What? One more thing. Onions and an avocado that didn't make the cut. Here is some of my prepared bedding that's pretty wet. And I think that should balance out the fact that I think it's drying. Let me know if you want me to do another video on my bedding. I do have one video that I can link below um, to show you how I make my prepared bedding. But if you want to see the whole thing again fresh, uh, let me know. Put that in the, the comments and I will remake that video uh, for more current times. Alright, we're almost there. Okay, I wasn't counting. Was that four or five? Okay, so I'm not sure if you can tell by this little part here, but there is grit in there in the bedding as well as coconut coir and uh, some kelp meal. Um, I have a link down below to the shredder that does these Amazon boxes as well as the kelp meal um, if you're interested on what kind of shredder can keep going through um, all the Amazon boxes. I've had it for more than six months now and it is a trooper. Um, doesn't overheat, none of the above. So if you want to know, check in the uh, pinned comment below. Alright guys, well that's it. Uh, if you like the video on the African Nightcrawlers in the Vermi Bag Little Mammoth, give it a muddy thumbs up. If you're not a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. And if you want to know what I'm doing, what I'm doing, make sure that your notifications are turned on. Alright guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms, and everybody, have a good day.